internet. It's been a while. Oops. Um, I haven't filmed a video since like the end of July and it's, sorry about that. Um, I've been kind of in like a reading slump but also just like a booktube slump. Like I haven't really been watching a lot of booktube much less filming any videos. I'm still kind of in a reading slump but I'm trying to see if I can maybe like crawl my way out of it so I haven't done wrap-ups for July or August yet so once September's over I'm just gonna do a three-month wrap-up so keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm also planning on filming my bookshelf tour soon since I never actually did that for this year so anyway I thought I would go ahead and get my summer book haul out of the way today since I've acquired a lot of books about 30 um, since I last hauled and so these are all of the books that I purchased in June, July, and August. Most of these I got at like a used bookstore. I also have some gifts. I have some books I bought when I was on vacation in August. So without further ado, let's just jump into the haul. So the first book that I want to start with is actually one that I forgot to include in my spring book haul um, that I acquired. I don't even remember when. It was sometime maybe like April or something. Um, and that is Harry a History by Melissa Anelli. This I purchased at one of my many trips to McKay's and I think this is the only book I bought that trip which is why I just kind of forgot to haul it. Um, but I did purchase this in the spring. This is kind of an older book about the Harry Potter fandom. Um, and the Harry Potter fandom is something that I've been in for a very long time. Um, it kind of talks about like wizard rock and movie premieres and all of that fun stuff. Just the Harry Potter phenomenon in general. So I've been, I've wanted to read this for several years and I just never have. So I got it for like $3 and eventually I'll be picking this up. Now onto the books I actually bought this summer. The first several books are books that I also got at McKay's. You're going to see McKay's stuff kind of throughout this haul because I go there too much. But one of the times where I went there, um, they had a hardcover copy of Divergent by Veronica Roth. And I own the other two books in this trilogy in hardcover. And the only one I owned in paperback was the first book, Divergent. So this was only like $2. So I bought it so that way all of my books match now. And it's much more aesthetically pleasing and just so much prettier. Um, so I'm really excited to have found this and this is in really good shape too, like it doesn't have any like marks on it or anything really. There's like a little mark on the pages right there, but other than that it's like awesome. And it's only two dollars. So why wouldn't I? That same trip I also found a copy of Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. This is the sequel to Renegades, which I have not read yet, but I do own and this was only like five dollars so I went ahead and picked it up because I really feel like I'm gonna love Renegades because I've really really loved all of Marissa Meyer's other books um, it's just a matter of me picking it up so since I found the sequel at a discounted price I went ahead and got it and I really need to get to these soon because I think the last book comes out at the end of the year or maybe the beginning of next year it's soon I know it's soon and I've heard phenomenal things about this sci-fi series so I gotta get on that. And the last book that I got in that haul um, is Bruja Born by Zoreta Cordova. This is the second book and kind of like a companion series. I don't know what the series is called but it's the sequel to Labyrinth Lost uh, which I really liked. I read it last year and I really enjoyed it so since they had this at McKay's for cheap I went ahead and picked it up as well and I'm hoping to read it very very soon. I believe this follows one of the sisters of the main character in Labyrinth Lost. This will actually be a really good book to read in the fall because it's all witchy and stuff so I might read this soon actually but I was excited to find this and I really love the cover of this one in particular so yay. I actually did buy another book during that trip but I've already read it and unhauled it because I didn't like it so Moving on, the next book I have to haul is Defy Me by Tara Moffey. This is the fifth book in the Shatter Me series. This is the most recent one that has come out. And it's a signed first edition. Um, I believe I got this at Barnes & Noble. It's been a while, um, but I think that's where I picked this up. I haven't read Restore Me yet, but I think I went ahead and got this because it was signed. And I think, actually, I think I had a coupon. And so I bought this. It's kind of coming back to me now. 
it's been a hot minute, but I really like uh, the original trilogy, and I'm excited to jump into the next few books that have come out. Um, I believe the very last book comes out soon. I don't think it's this year, but it's soon. So I need to I need to get on that. And the next book I have to haul is actually from a separate trip to McKay's. I only bought one book this trip to McKay's, and that was They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. This is the only Adam Silvera book I haven't read yet, um, and I really want to read it, but I found it for like $5 at McKay's, and it was signed, which is awesome. So I went ahead and grabbed it, and I've been wanting to read this for a while, so I will probably be picking it up soonish. I can never get out of that reading slump that is. All right, so the next book I have to haul is actually Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This is the 20th anniversary edition in the Gryffindor hardback colors. I collect these um, every year when they come out. And this one came out, I think, in July. So I ordered it from Book Depository and it arrived. Uh, Book Depository, this isn't like sponsored or anything, but if you haven't heard of it, uh, you can order books from there and they ship for free internationally. So they have a lot of UK books on there and uh, anytime I need a book that's in the UK cover, I order from there and it's awesome. They're also kind of discounted as well. So highly recommend, but I adore these books. It has like the scarf on the side and this one, they've been changing the, the picture. The very first one had the crest on it and then Chamber of Secrets had the snake. And this one has, you know, the omen, the dark omen on it. So really excited to have this in my collection. I just adore these books. I think it was only like $15, so. All right, so the next book that I have to haul is actually from Half Price Books. I discovered that there is a Half Price Books outlet about an hour and a half away from Nashville in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And I went up there one day because my mom had to go up there for some reason. I just tagged along because I wanted to go to Half Price Books. And I was a little underwhelmed, um, but I did find a copy of The Disenchantments by Nina LaCour for like $2. Um, and Nina LaCour is an author I really, really like. I adore her book, Everything Leads to You, and I also really liked We Are Okay. So since they had this, I hadn't read this one yet, I went ahead and picked it up. I believe it's about like a band or something. So I haven't really heard anything about it, but I'm hoping I enjoy it. And the next book I have to haul has been a very, very popular one here on BookTube, and that is Sadie by Courtney Summers. I just keep hearing people praising and praising and praising this book. I've also heard a lot of people praising the audiobook, so I may listen to this one, um, but I was really excited to find it. But yeah, really excited to have my hands on this finally, and I'm really, really looking forward to reading it. The next book I have to haul is The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. Um, I also picked this one up at Books A Million because I'm in a book club with a couple other bookish people around Nashville, and this was our end of summer book pick. I have already read this. I really liked it. I'll talk about it more in my wrap-up, uh, my July, August, September wrap-up that I'm gonna film because I read it in July. Um, but this is a YA fantasy book. It's kind of like, like a paranormal fantasy, um, which usually isn't my thing, but I really liked the way this one was done. Like I said, I'll talk about it more in my wrap-up, but highly recommend. I've heard a lot of people talking about this one as well, so I was excited to read it. And now I understand why. So excited to have this in my collection. The next couple of books I got at Barnes & Noble because I was getting ready for the biannual bibliothon in July and there were a few books that I wanted to read that I did not own yet. So I had a Barnes & Noble coupon because I'm a member there. So I picked up Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is their newest sci-fi book. Both of them wrote the Illuminae Files trilogy that I absolutely love. I did not get a chance to read this during the Bibliothon, which sucks because it was the group book, um, but I'm still really looking forward to reading it and uh, getting new stuff from these two authors because I really, really love the Illuminae trilogy. Um, so I'm really excited to pick this up eventually. And the other book I picked up for the biannual bibliothon was Girls on the Verge by Sharon Biggs Waller. This one I did read. I'll talk about this in my wrap-up as well. Um, this is a YA contemporary about this girl named Camille who lives in Texas and she becomes pregnant and she wants to have an abortion, but it's really, really hard to do that in Texas, unfortunately. 
Um, so her and a couple of her friends go on a road trip and essentially help out Camille uh, when she's trying to get an abortion. So uh, it's really good. I'll talk about it more in my wrap up, but I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this. So definitely if you like stories kind of like that, this one should definitely uh, be on your radar for sure. The next book I have to haul is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. This one has also been getting a lot of buzz. I actually read an e-arc of this book on NetGalley and loved it so much that I decided to get the physical copy because the author came to Parnassus um, so I was able to buy a physical copy of the book and get it signed which was really exciting and she was really sweet and just really cool. So again I'll talk about this in my July I think wrap up but it's kind of like a sci-fi-ish thriller sort of um, about these girls who went to a boarding school on this island and this thing called the tox kind of took over the island. It's like this sickness that's infecting the humans, it's infecting the animals, even just like the island itself. It was really creepy and not at all my usual taste because it's more of like a creepy horror thriller type book, but I loved it. So um, again, I'll talk about this in my wrap up, but I'm really excited to have a copy of this, especially because it's one of my favorite covers ever. It's so cool. Um, and also it's signed, so it's really exciting. The next book I actually ordered um, on Prime Day when Amazon had their Prime Day, and that was Good Morning, Good Night, Little Pep Talks for Me and You by Lin-Manuel Miranda and illustrated by Johnny Sun. This is basically just like some of Lin-Manuel Miranda's tweets that have been illustrated. He always has these super inspirational tweets that I love. And I figured, you know, I've been wanting to like flip through this because I figured it would be very inspirational. Um, but I also thought, you know, this will be a good quick read for a future readathon. So since it was on sale on Prime Day, I went ahead and picked it up. Haven't read it yet, but it's just cute. It's like all the little illustrations are just really, really cute. So I'm really looking forward to flipping through this at some point. The next book I have to haul um, also came from Books A Million off of their bargain shelf. That is Jane Unlimited by Kristen Kishore. I've heard mostly good things about this book. I don't know a whole lot about the plot. All I know is that it's supposed to go over a bunch of different genres. I believe it's not really a choose your own ending type of book, but it explores what would happen to the main character um, if different endings happen. And I believe each different ending follows a different genre. So there's like a contemporary one, there's a fantasy one, a sci-fi one. I believe that's what it's about. I don't know if that made any sense, but I've been very curious about this and I also have heard that it's queer, which is exciting. So um, I went ahead and picked it up because it was only like six bucks and again, haven't read it yet, but I'm hoping to get around to it soon-ish. The next book I have was the July, I think, Owlcrate book. Yeah, it was July, um, which was Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. I don't remember what this was about. I'm going to be totally honest. I read it, the description, uh, when I got the box and it sounded so cool that I could not tell you what it's about now. I always enjoy getting the Owlcrate boxes and this one sounded cool and the stuff that came in that box was really exciting. This is of course an Owlcrate exclusive cover as well. Um, the spine's got that really pretty gold. So haven't read it yet, but I've heard a few people talk about this and say good things. So. Hopefully you really like it. Then I got a couple more books that I got from McKay's. The first of which was one of my most exciting McKay's finds ever. And that was the collector's edition of Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. The Throne of Glass series is one of my like favorites of all time. And I think this was like six or seven dollars, but it comes in this like beautiful box. And then this is what the book looks like. And I was just so excited to find this. So I went ahead and picked it up so I could add it to my Throne of Glass collection. And on that same trip, I also picked up Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I found this for like four or five dollars and um, everyone and their mother, I feel like, has read this except for me. So I went ahead and picked it up. I think it's more of an, a YA dystopian series about like there's no disease, no war, no anything basically in the world anymore. So in order for people to die, they have these people called sides who are basically like, they are in control of like keeping the population low enough so they have to like kill people or something. 
Um, and I think the main character is like training to be a scythe or something. I don't really know. I think that's right, but everybody just seems to be obsessed with this series. So I went ahead and picked it up um, so I can figure out what the hubbub is about. I think the third book, which I don't know if this is a trilogy, I can't remember. I want to say it is, I may be wrong, um, but I know the third book is either about to come out or it just came out because I've already seen a couple of bookstagram pictures of it. So. I gotta get on that. <laughs> the next book I have I actually bought because I was about to go on vacation um, in Texas. I don't think I talked about this on my channel, I may have, um, but in the month of August I went down to Dallas to visit some friends and also to go to LeakyCon Dallas. Um, and there were going to be a bunch of authors there I was really excited to meet at LeakyCon and one of those was Maureen Johnson. Um, so I picked up before I went uh, on that trip, I picked up a copy of Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson because I really like her books, especially her more like thriller type books. And I haven't read this yet, but I've really, really been wanting to. Um, so I got a copy at the bookstore so I could get it signed, which is what I did. And um, I'm really looking forward to reading this. I'm hoping to read it this month or next month since it's get into that kind of like spooky time of year. So I'm really excited to finally own this and I've heard really good things about this series so far. So I'm really excited about it. All right, so the next six books I got actually while I was on vacation. I've kind of talked about this before, um, but Nashville does not have a half price books, which sucks. Um, that's why I had to go to Kentucky to go to the outlet. But they, as far as like an actual half price book store, the closest one is like three hours away or something. Um, so anytime I go to Texas, I try to stop in at least one half price bookstore. So I went to one while I was down there and I picked up a copy of As I Descended by Robin Talley. This was a bit popular like when it came out a few years ago, but I believe this is supposed to be a queer retelling of Macbeth. So I've been wanting to read it and it was only like four dollars. So I went ahead and got it. I'm really excited about it and I hope I like it. The next four books were actually a gift from my best friend. Um, she got me a box set of the Puffin Chalk editions of some of the children's classics and these are beautiful. I've actually been on the hunt specifically for the Wizard of Oz one. Um, so I was so excited. This is like an early birthday gift um, and it came with four books. We've got Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. That's what it looks like on the front and on the back. And then we've got Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, which I've also been wanting. Um, that's what it looks like on the back. These editions are just so pretty. And then The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, which is the one that I've been looking for. And then there's what that one looks like on the back. This is my favorite classic ever, if you didn't know that. Um, and then the only one I haven't read out of these is Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. Um, so that's what it looks like on the front and the back. So I'm really excited to have these. They're hardcover and they're just beautiful and I'm just really excited to have them in my collection. So yay. And the last book I acquired on my vacation actually came from another friend of mine who had recently done a trip around Europe. Um, and they got me a copy of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows from the Czech Republic, which is really cool. It's hardcover, it's got the fancy bookmark, um, and it's really pretty. So I like having foreign editions of Harry Potter books, and Deathly Hallows is my favorite. So although I will never be able to read this, um, it's a really, really cool book to add to my Harry Potter collection. So. I was really excited that they brought this for me. <laughs> I've only got about five more books left. Um, the next one is from Surprise, Another McKay's Trip, um, and that is My Favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren. I've been wanting to get into Christina Lauren. Um, I know a lot of other booktubers and even like some of my friends around Nashville really like Christina Lauren's books. Um, Christina Lauren is actually two authors um, that just combine their names under one pen name. Um, but I've never read any of their books, so they had this one at McKay's for like three bucks, so I picked it up. I actually read it last month, 
really liked it. I'll talk about it in my wrap up. But I'm looking forward to buying more Christina Lauren books because I really enjoyed this one. So yay. The next three books I got during Barnes and Noble's book haul blowout sale that they have every few months or so. I don't know if you can hear the school bus outside, but if you can, that's what that noise is. Every now and then Barnes and Noble will have this thing they call the book haul blowout and they basically put a bunch of books on sale for like 50% off, which is amazing. I got three books, two of them were hardcover. I think I only spent like $36 which was really exciting. So the first one that I picked up from that sale was With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I've heard good things about this book and it's one that I've been very curious about. So I took the opportunity of, you know, it being 50% off and went ahead and bought it. But also this book is fucking beautiful under the dust jacket. I mean, look at that. It's so cool looking. Um, and I've heard really good things about it and I like reading, you know, diverse books. So I decided to take advantage of the sale and go ahead and pick this one up. The next book I did not realize was going to be a part of that sale and I've been kind of putting off buying it because I wanted to buy it in paperback when it came out in paperback, but since it was 50% off I said screw it <laughs> and I went ahead and bought it because I really want to read it and that is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This book is huge. It's like 800 something pages uh, which is why I've been putting off buying it but I've heard so many good things about it and it's one I've been so interested in. It's an adult fantasy book. I think it's like I don't want to say it's like short stories but I think it's like it's like six separate stories that take place in the same world and there's dragons and it's queer um, and I've just heard it's really really good so I said screw it and I went ahead and bought it since it was 50% off and now I just gotta read it. <laughs> so maybe once I hit my Goodreads goal I will read this to celebrate since it's so long. And the last book I got at the Barnes & Noble sale was The Trials of Apollo Book 1 The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan. I love Rick Riordan's books and this is the first book in this particular series which is about uh, the god Apollo. He like I think he gets banished from Olympus and has to um, and becomes like a teenager on earth or something like that. I've heard that this series is really good so since it was 50% off it was literally like five bucks. Uh, so good job! And the very last book I have to haul is another one that I got at Books A Million um, in the bargain section. Their bargain section has been killing it lately. And that is the Puffin and Bloom edition of Little Women by Louise May Alcott. The only other Puffin and Bloom book I have is Anne of Green Gables and I really want to collect them all and this one was like four or five dollars. So I went ahead and got this. It's absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed with it and I'm excited to add it to my collection. That's it for my summer book haul. This was so long. I am so sorry. Um, I will hopefully be making more videos soon so be on the lookout and thanks for putting up with my weird and random absences. Um, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye!